afternoon guys so it's me again angelita welcome back to my channel and for today's video we will make a tutorial on how to make a qr id for our students especially in this situation um, pwede na magamit yung qr id nila for the module distribution okay so this is the step on how to make a qr um, id first we have to go to the the qr generator dot Okay, so yung unang lalabas is uh, yung website na pupuntahan natin which is the QR code generator. So guys, tandaan po ninyo na meron po siyang the. The QR code generator. Yung iba kasi walang the. QR code lang, QR code. So ito yung ginamit ko na um, QR code generator. Okay. And then here, we are going to input the details or the information ng students. Halimbawa, look seen, look seen, angel, okay. So next natin lalagay is yung LRN, 11-9. Okay, so 11 digit number, uh, I mean 11 digits, and then kung anong section, section sa Angel Luxie, 11 rows. If you want to add contact number, you may add contact number, pwede po yun. And kung ano pang information ang, or details ang gusto ninyong ilagay, enter, enter lang po. And ang gandahan po dito sa QR code generator, hindi lang po um, data yung kukuha natin sa form. We can also use this um, QR code pag may face-to-face -face classes na or hindi to sa SMS. Maglalagay tayo ng number. Okay, ganyan. And then, for example, yan yung number. Tapos, maglalagay tayo ng message na uh, attendance attendance for today. Ayan po. So, once na iniscan natin itong QR code na to, alagyan natin ang name. Angel Luxine Attendance uh, Angel Luxine Attendance for today. So, once iniscan po natin yung code na ito, automatically, may marireceive na text itong number na to. So, ganyan po kaganda si QR code generator. But in our case, since module distribution lang naman tayo, dito lang tayo sa pretext para lang makuha natin yung data or yung record natin sa module distribution natin. Okay? And then, after that, i-copy lang natin itong pangalan para pag-save natin, yan din yung file name na ilalagay natin para hindi tayo malito sa mga QR code na i- scan natin. Okay, ayan, downloading. After po nating ma-download, okay, nakapaglagay na tayo ng mga details ng students. So, ayan na po siya. After nating ma-download ito, um, let's try to open this if nag-work siya, if it's already a QR code. Ayan na po. So, this is the QR code of Luxin Angel May. Alright, ang next natin gagawin is through 